In this video, I'm going to pull some dents with this Harbor Freight Dent Puller. So if you guys have seen any of my other C20 pickup restoration videos, you know I'm working on this truck here. It has a lot of dents, just like any other classic car project. I typically have done a hammer and dolly kind of method to pull dents, but I saw this online and thought I'd give it a try. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I go about pulling dents with this Harbor Freight Dent Puller. Let's grab our tools and let's jump right into it. The first thing we got to do is identify our dents and mark them. I like to just mark it with a pencil because pretty much we're just going to grind this all away. So I got a pretty nice dent here. You can see that it uh, it bends down on the top right here. So I'm going to mark across the line so I can see where the main dent is. And then it also has a dent underneath. So I want to give myself enough sheet metal to work with. Um, in case I need to put little studs on the outside because when I'm pulling this out, it starts warp warping the outside in. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle around this line that I put in the actual dent. So there's the actual dents. Now I want to give myself a pretty good distance outside. You know, like something like that, something like this. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. So now I know that I need to shave away all this paint right here, maybe a little bit beyond it. So then I have plenty of sh uh, bare sheet metal to work with to put studs on and then start pulling this dent. So let's grab our wire wheel on the angle grinder, start grinding away all this paint. And don't forget you're grinding, so always grab some safety glasses and I don't know what the heck's in this paint, so I got my respirator too. All right, that's pretty nicely ground down now. You can still see a little bit of paint residue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with my orbital sander, which has an 80 grit sandpaper on it. And I'm gonna get all the little remainders of the paint off this metal so it's nice bare sheet metal. But I'm also gonna feather the paint on the edge. So then when I go to put in the body filler, it's I can blend it nice and smooth. All right, just pause in a second. So you can see I started sanding. Um, my sander is pretty flat. So when I'm going over this, it's displaying pretty much with that like little leftover paint residue uh, where the dent actually is. So I can see there's a big dent here, little dent there. Wipe it off with a little microfiber so I can just show you a little better. But now you can really see where these dents are. So I'm gonna keep on sanding so that when I weld the stud, it's gonna stick really nicely to the raw sheet metal, but just thought I'd stop and show you these little dents right here. All right, now it's time for the fun part. So judging on your sheet metal size, if you're gonna use the two millimeter or three millimeter, uh, you do wanna change the tip. The, the kit came with a couple tips. So right now I have the three millimeter tip in there. And then once you have the proper tip in your gun, just take the little studs that come with the gun, put them in the hole just like that. And then we're gonna go weld a whole bunch of these onto the car. We are welding on the car. So as always, don't forget to take your negative battery terminal off. All right, now this part's kind of interesting. So when you're going to actually start uh, tacking on these little studs here, I kind of tried a couple different approaches. Most of my dents are these long, thin kind of dents. Uh, door ding kind of dents, pretty easy. If it's just a little door ding, then you stick one of these little tacks in there and pull it out, right? It's pretty simple. Um, for these long ones, I tried a couple methods. I tried tacking, you know, down a line. I tried tacking on the sides and pulling like kind of in a zipper pattern. And then I didn't know, do I start pulling the dent from the center or do I start pulling it from either side? Uh, so the method that I found that kind of worked the best on these kind of long, thin dents is to run a few tacks or a few studs down the center of the actual dent itself. So in this case, I'm going to run a bunch of tacks along the center of this. And then I'm going to start pulling it from the outside. So out, 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 out until I reach the center. 
and then it will be fairly smooth. Now this isn't gonna make your sheet metal super perfectly smooth where you could just paint right over it. You're gonna need some filler, but the idea of these stud puller guns is you're not gonna put so much filler that it's gonna eventually crack in five, 10 years. All right, so let's start popping in these tacks. So we're gonna start at the top and then just work our way down the center. Then we're gonna jump down and fill the rest of the this bottom dent here. So one more tip, if this is the first time you've ever used one of these stud guns, um, how this works is you want the circle that's around the stud gun here to be hitting the metal. And what it's gonna do is create a full circuit of electricity through this and then weld the little tack on there. So when you're actually pushing it, you're pushing down and then you're holding a section of that circle onto the sheet metal itself. So then it actually creates an arc and welds the stud onto the dent. Because you're creating a arc and a weld, you can wear a welding mask, would be recommended. And then push it down on the back of the stud gun itself. There's a little button. You hold it for about one second and then pull it off and then your stud's done. Hold this for one second, undo it, pull the gun off the stud, and then go all the way down. Okay, so all of our studs are welded up. So now we're going to take our slide hammer and start pulling from either side of the long dent until we work into the center. And then we should be fairly good with pulling this dent out. All right, so now that we have all the tacks in, it's time to use this slide hammer. Now it's a little tricky to use at first, but the rule is it has this little wheel and this wheel has a high point and a low point. So when you're putting the slide hammer onto the stud, you want the wheel to be on a high point. Then you put it onto the stud. Now you take the wheel and pull it backwards so it's going to lock the hammer onto the stud. From here you're going to give it a good smack and then it's going to start pulling the dent out. Once you've started pulling the dent, you're going to take this, the roller wheel here, push it back forward, and then just pull the stud on out. Now let's just yank on all these studs, start on the top, go to the bottom, then work your way to the middle. Cool. So sometimes you will yank it off. That's fine. Just weld a new stud back on and you should be good. And then other times what happens is if the stud will pop off, then this is pretty hard to get out. So what you got to do is kind of like smack this on a hard surface. So I'll just smack it on the ground, pull the wheel forward and then pull the stud out. All right, so a little progress check. You can tell that the dent is a lot higher up. Um, that bottom dent is pretty much gone now. It's gone enough to the point where body filler can take care of that. Um, a couple of these little studs popped out. The way to prevent that is obviously to attack it for a little longer. Uh, I don't know, sometimes they fall off. I've noticed with this gun, I think a, you know, a more expensive gun, it might stick it down a little bit better, maybe not fall off. But really if it falls off, it's usually on like your third, fourth punch and that's about where you need it. So what I'm gonna do here is because there's still a little bit of dent, I'm going to throw in a few more studs when I, when I'm doing more studs, if the, if the dent's still there, I try not to throw them on top of an old spot. I'm looking for some new fresh sheet metal. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to pop this one off with like some pliers or something. They usually can come off pretty easy if you just wiggle them around. Then I'm going to tack down a few more studs and start yanking on those till this top part of this dent is gone. All right, everybody, so you can see now, got all my little marks here, but the dent is pretty much gone. It's gone enough to the point where it's a little bit of surface body filler, some block sanding, be nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna hit this now with a 80 grit. I'm gonna feather this paint a little bit more out. Then I'm gonna go with some body filler. 
I'm gonna sand it down with a pretty aggressive forming sanding. So like an 80 grit. After I've done the 80 grit, I do a block sand of 220 and then finish off with 360. Hit it with some primer, call it a day. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And this is kind of the end result. I pulled it out into the sun so you could see the body lines a little bit better. You can see after I block sanded it and hit it with a primer, that dent is gone. From here, I'd hit it with some 600 grit, do the base coat, have some clear on it, and then we'd really be done. But as far as that dent puller goes, that's the whole video. Not a bad little dent puller for 90 bucks. Um, if you guys are into these kind of restoration videos, don't forget to check out my channel. If it helps you out, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.